So pulled number three piston connecting rod end cap. There's a couple of score lines. Something metal got in the oil system. So, I mean, overall, the bearing looks like it has a lot of miles. It looks fine, except for the scoring on it. So, that means, unfortunately, the engine's coming out. Um, I, I mean, I could put that back together, button it up and drive it, but with the depth of that in that bearing, um, there are several score marks in there. The crank journal looks okay. Um, it looks like it's something just got embedded and scratched the uh, bearing, but um, Looking at the journals, well not the journals, the, um, the cam lobes here. Especially that one, those two. Um, I don't know. I may replace the camshafts. I just. They're probably fine. All of this is going to have to come apart anyway. So. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't, but we'll have to see once I pull the head off um, what we have on the other side as far as the valves and see if. Uh, See if I'm actually going to end up going down in there and checking the stem seals and all that while I'm at it. So this may end up being a full freaking teardown. Which I didn't, I didn't really want to do, but I also don't really want to button this back together, drive it for three months, and start having problems with, uh, with it. So... And it would not be good to go through all this work also to have a spun bearing in a year and end up ruining a lot more of the parts that are on it. So um, I think I'm going to save the crank now, go ahead and do new shells on it, and we'll check. Probably, probably going to have to have rings, but we'll check those when we <clears throat> get the pistons out. I'm, I think I'm going to leave the head together for now. I'm just going to focus on getting under, flipping it over. Let me grab a light and we'll go take a peek under there. The weather keeps changing again. <clears throat> it's really messing with me. <sighs> warm weather, cold rain, warm weather, cold rain. It's like every other week is a different weather pattern. It's like 40 degrees a day and rain. The journal's smooth. Oops. So, nothing really stands out. But um, I think I think I'm gonna pull the middle cap off here because this is what takes uh, a large amount of the actual alignment um helps hold it and one other thing i noticed is, uh, i don't know if this is normal or not i'm not familiar with saw but i think someone has put bearings in this before because someone described all the caps and i don't know why if anybody knows if that's normal or not with Saab factory, I don't. I would expect it not to be, but um, I would expect someone has had this pan off and done something in here. 
Possibly rod shells. I don't know. Bearings, rod bearings. They call them shells. Anyway, uh, that's what's up for right now. Um, the shifter linkage is finally apart, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I just have a couple of lines to take off and the uh, power cable for the starter and a couple of things. And then this thing should just pluck right out. I've already got the, uh, the header pipe. The uh, collector is off, so go ahead and pull this thing out and uh, we'll start pulling the head off.